Hi everybody, it's Tom McPherson with a new Circle Line Art School video. This week I'll show you one way to draw clouds on a simple landscape using a pencil. I use a 4B pencil for this drawing, but any dark pencil would be great. Start by drawing a horizontal line using just a soft line down towards the base of your page. Next, draw an outline for a large cloud filling up most of the sky. It would be good to use a sharp pencil point for this outline, and don't press down too hard. We're drawing an outline of the cloud, but this outline will become a line between two tonal values, the light of the cloud and the dark of the sky behind the cloud. Next, we can draw some inner lines of clouds in front of the main cloud, again using soft, sharp guidelines. Try to make the lines look precise. Towards the horizon line, the cloud shapes will get smaller and thinner. The best way to draw clouds really is to be able to notice clouds as you see them when you walk around in landscapes. Clouds are magnificent things and they have shapes which change and alter over time, often quite quickly. Next, we can draw a landscape. Start by drawing just a few marks above the horizon line. Just indications, really, of distant bits of landscape far away. Then we can draw more lines of the landscape getting nearer us and lower down from the horizon, using darker tonal values as well. If you'd like to learn more about drawing from scratch, please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com to find out about my online drawing courses for beginners. So for this drawing, we're just using a sketching technique of giving an indication of things rather than trying to pin them down too much. So these quick marks that we're making are just an indication of a landscape rather than any details. So in a way we can give we can give an indication of how far away things are by making them softer tonally in the distance, but making them stronger tones and larger shapes in the foreground, the things right at the front of us, all spiky shapes of grass. And using the side of the pencil to get some smoother, flatter tonal values. We need to use these tonal values, particularly in the clouds. Make sure you don't use the point of the pencil if you want the tonal values to be soft. And for this drawing, I'm not shading in the area nearest the edge of the clouds. We're sort of shading in the inner part of the clouds, but in a soft, blended way using the side of the pencil so that we can create delicate tonal values. You could smudge these areas with your finger or a side of an eraser to make them look even flatter if you wish. By making the sky darker, we are automatically making the clouds look brighter because tonal values are always relative in a drawing. An area of a drawing will look lighter if it's next to another area which is darker. So in this sketch, I think it's a good idea to move the pencil point around when drawing and not just draw one thing at a time, except perhaps for the sky in the background. For that, we just need to use the side of the pencil and build up flat layers of tonal values, each one getting flatter as we layer them one on top of another. You could use your fingers to smudge this area or maybe the side of an eraser. The main thing is to take your time and make the sky a soft, flat tone, which is darker than the clouds. And because the sky will be darker than the clouds and flat, it will recede. And that will make the clouds look like they're coming forwards. And because the clouds still have areas which are just blank paper, these areas are very bright in comparison to the darker background. And that's really why we're putting a darker background in, because it makes the cloud look brighter. 
So again, it's this contrast between light and dark and using that in our drawing to create the effect that we want. You could add a few more details or marks in the landscape and maybe some indications of shapes that could be reflected in patches of water. Don't put too much detail. Again, it's just indicating details. And maybe we could define some of the edges of the clouds. Not too much, just a little bit, because clouds are these crazy shapes that keep changing in front of our eyes. So we want to give the impression that they could move around. I hope you find this sketch useful for your own drawings. If you'd like to join my online drawing course for beginners, please just visit circleandartschool.com. If you like this video, please click like. And also you could subscribe to keep up to date with all the content that I make. Thank you for your support and see you next time.